true justice is not going to happen in this world. We all see so many articles and so many different things and where a judge sentenced the wrong person for 20 years, 30 years, and then they got out. And it's like, what happened? Those 20, 30 years of their life, what happened? They just got their life destroyed over what? A false allegation or something that was just, oh, miss evidence, right? So in this world, the justice system is broken. It's not going to work. You'll have a homeless person steal $100 and get 15 years in jail, yet a corporation or person within the corporation will steal and basically launder money for a billion, two billion dollars and get three years in jail. Slap on the wrist, right? So it's crazy to see like how the system really is working. The system is not working for justice's sake. So again, as a Muslim, as someone who again is believing in the religion of Islam, you realize that the day of judgment, the end times, that's when justice is really going to happen. When it's all said and done, that's when true justice is going to come. Another thing that's happening in our society right now is what's happening in Palestine and understanding that how can this be happening? How can the bigger powers in the world be doing this? It's terrible. But at the end of the day, we know what's going to happen. We see and read the scripture. We know that at the end of the day, the day of judgment comes, people are going to be wishing that they didn't take partners with Allah, that they understood the truth, that they respected the message, that they didn't make a mockery of the people who believed. And again, Listen to some of the people in Palestine who are saying things like, yeah, it's okay, like, I mean, we're not afraid. And everyone's looking at them like, why are they not afraid? Why are they so strong? How are they such strong-willed people? But again, they're strong-willed people because they have a law. They understand that this isn't the end goal. They know that this is life is merely but a test. And when you see these people with this strength, this gusto, this bravado of being able to stand on their beliefs like that, you have to stop and think and wonder. There has to be something behind this religion, behind this faith. A big question that people always ask is, why does God even allow bad things to happen in this world? And again, it's a great question. And the reason why bad things happen in this world is because, again, there's free will. Humans are creating the bad things in the world, not God. God, yes, controls everything, but God also allows us to have free will. So again, we make the decisions. So if someone is oppressing another person, God knows that this person is gonna be an oppressor. So the oppressor is going to end up going to hell and the person who was oppressed goes to heaven. Heaven is going to be filled with more poor people and oppressed people than rich and oppressors. So it goes to show it's understand this life is again merely but a test. So when you see this, you're like, okay, so then why do young babies get cancer? Why do young kids die? Why do people die so early? Et cetera, et cetera. And again, they go directly to heaven because again, this life is merely but an illusion. It's just a time period of that's why time passes so fast. But heaven, hell is eternity. You have to understand that. And it, it might seem hard to understand that this life is merely but an illusion, but a test. But as a Muslim, you have to understand this simple, simple concept of do what you can in this world with the time period you have and the privilege and the experiences you have. Do the most and the best you can do and then leave the rest to Allah. And that is how you're going to be able to live your life with a sense of confidence and trust in the Creator and understand that control what you can't control. And again, this is a very simple concept to go and understand, but you yourself have to find the way to believe in it 100% with logic and reason. And again, the first step is having that belief in the hereafter and understanding that all of our actions are going to be judged at the end of time. So again, that's where the day of recompense is. That's where the day of judgment is. That's where all of our sins are out. It's our good deeds, our bad deeds. It's all out in the open now. So then that is when we get true justice. At the end of the day, we're not Allah. We're not God. We have limitations. We can't be the most just. Allah is the most just. So when you're in the justice system or there's crimes that happen or things that are committed, you can't really say, you know, with 100% certainty that this is the problem 100% because we don't have every single aspect, every single piece of knowledge 100%. Only God does. So understand that you won't be able to get 100% true justice in this world. Also, understand that Allah does have divine wisdom. Allah has wisdom and is wise beyond we can, what we can even comprehend as humans. And when you start to understand that, and you start to understand how Allah, the Creator, created everything, He's outside of this orb that we put the universe in, right? Allah is outside of it. So we don't even understand the game that's being played. So, But you just have to play the game. You're just in the circle. You're in the mix. But while you're in the mix, while you have your free will, your consciousness, do as much good as you can and understand that do what you can and don't be the oppressor. Don't hurt someone's feelings. Don't take advantage of the people around you. Make sure that you ask for forgiveness, again, from Allah and the people around you. Understand that, again, that's how you're going to be able to understand and be in this orb of comprehension of Allah will be the most just. Allah will take the hat for you. We all know this life is a trial. It's a test. 
And then in doing so, we also have to be accountable of our actions. We have free will. We can make decisions. And because we can make decisions, we have to be able to make the right decisions, the good decision. But all this doesn't mean you have to stop going after justice in this world. You better be fighting for the truth, fighting for justice. Because again, that is important. You have to be doing this. As a Muslim, you have to stand up for what's right. You have to stand up for the little guy. You have to do the right thing. And you know what? We might not win in this world. We might have a lot more struggles in this world. But understand that you are a brotherhood. You are a sisterhood. You guys stay together and you go after the truth. And if you know you're right, you know there's a truth behind what's happening. And you can stand up for someone. You saw someone get Muslim or there's oppression happening. Be sure to use your voice. We all have a voice. Use it. And that's a main thing you have to understand that it might not happen in this world. But you better try to have an impact in this world because again, we get judged on what we were able to do and that we, what we didn't do. So again, stand on that, be strong-willed, and be confident in your faith, be confident in your dean, and be sure to stand up for the little guy. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Leave comments down below of whiz you guys have stood up for the truth or different times in life where you're noticing justice or even when you kind of notice that you did the right thing and you didn't say anything until boom, Allah gave you barakah and blessed you with being patient and being steadfast in your deen. I would love to hear you guys' stories and I really do appreciate the comments, likes, and subscribes. So again, inshallah, I'll see you guys next Friday for another talk. See you later.